fish tank people fish tank tv.com saucy's fish tanks bringing it to you on a sunday baby how's everybody doing i hope you're doing well on this fabulous easter sunday oh you can click the link here to check out yesterday when i added 100 neons 100 neons in the 125 out here uh chilling they're gonna be out here for about two weeks shout out to our friends at imperial tropicals for hooking it up on 100 neons. Of course, they were all over here earlier, and then now they've moved. So I'm going to get up, and I'm going to show you all, with the good camera, the 100 neons. Now, look, these guys are going to be in here a while. I've got the time. I've got the space. Let them chill. Enjoy this place, boys. So there is 100 neons right there. I had one, one, one fatality. And you can click the link on the video from yesterday where you can see kind of how I acclimated it. But the really, really most important thing, uh, the video acclimating, but then the biggest thing that people always skip is always, always, always dump out the foul water, okay? So when you're adding water to the bag, adding water to the bag, and then at the end, you dump out all that foul water and pour the fish into a net. This is huge. So we take the neons, and we never want to put this water in our tank ever you never want this nasty water in your aquarium so you set a bucket down in a net and you go like this now this is going to be a little tedious and i'm going to try to count the fish so this might take a sec i'm going to go slow and then i'm going to get them into the tank turn the camera around wild fish doing it for y'all oh that one in some of their skank water for a second. Turn the camera for you all. Put them in. Now that I've got them in the net, now I can attempt to count them. I literally lost one fish, so 1% of my 100 neons from Imperial Tropicals did not make it. So I am pretty jacked about it. 
we're starting in the greenhouse to show you guys this but uh, this is gonna be fun in the 220 I'm really excited about it um, the most I've ever kept in one spot was uh, about 50 and that was back in college so definitely good stuff uh, hit up Imperial Tropical save yourself 5% drop Dustin in the comments or whatever promo code and uh, you'll get hooked up there but yeah I mean these guys know how to ship fish this is tight so these are out here two weeks chilling loving it um yeah I'm pumped so we'll go here and then I want to show you guys what I've got going on we're gonna walk outside here you guys saw me do the video last time about this and I'm gonna do more videos on this but I am just playing with an aquaponics tray and I'm gonna grow dwarf sads in the top of this bad boy and this is so much fun okay I'm guessing this holds probably 25 30 gallons of water maybe less okay so what I'm trying to do right here is just kind of size up what I've got going on like okay is this gonna be uh, where I want it like is this gonna get enough Sun it actually gets a ton of Sun like the Sun starts over there comes up so it's been in the Sun all day on this sunny day so I'm pumped about that and uh, I'm trying to fit this 10 gallon underneath here but I really I need to scoot them out just a tiny bit didn't measure but I really want to use this 20 gallon because then I got you know 20 more gallons you always want more volume of water if you can now the other part that's really really wicked is check this out my good old friend the uh, water back here so uh, whoop 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 right in there so easy to do water change so water like how much water I have in here really doesn't matter if I can do it the biggest thing I would be worried about is the temperature swings because the uh, larger body of water the slower it takes to heat up and uh, cool down or whatever so that would be my one thing probably I'm gonna get some algae on here but we'll show you more about that so really pumped about this I'm excited yeah, so over here, I wanted to do an 8-foot. I actually drove my happy self to uh, up to Cincinnati to get an 8-foot by 2-foot bed, but they the 8-foot beds were a little too shallow, so I rolled with this one, and I do I do like this one a lot here. I think this is pretty sexy, and I think it's going to work. A little modular, you know, I can kind of move it here. If I wanted to get another one, I could set another one there, have them separated, so it's one species there, one species there. I could do a reservoir they could share. Uh, I am going to show, I'm probably going to drill this out, have a little overflow, a uh, little pump. I've got pumps on the way. That's why it's not all connected. So really excited about that. And I got to tell you folks, I'm really excited about the like month I've got coming ahead. I've got Reefapalooza. My man Lou Shivo throws down the Reefapalooza show. It's going to be sick. His worldwide coral shop is in Orlando. World uh, Reefapalooza is in Orlando. It's going to be fat. I'm excited to be there flying down doing the whole thing. And because of that show, our friends at Continuum are giving away $100 worth of free reef stuff. Put your name in, put your email in, click the link. You can see it. You win $100 of the reef stuff. Reef only on this time. It's a reef special, but Continuum's giving away $100 of reef stuff. So check it out. If you got a reef, check it out. I'm going to be there. Uh, they got like go karts the night before on Friday night. Also going to be visiting my friends at Imperial Tropical. So that's going to be real sick too. We're going to see a fish farm. Never seen one of those. Probably going to be coming home with a lot of fish. So I'm real jacked about that. So yeah, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this aquaponics setup and how we can make it a little better. Uh, I like keeping it real simple first, kind of getting my feel for it. It's going to be real sick when it's done, folks. Everybody have an awesome Easter, an awesome week. Make it a great one and tank on. Later.